Hey, this is Rob Isom with the Virginia Endurance Series, and I'm going to show you how to create a cycling route using Strava and why you should do it. In front of me, like what we're looking at here, this is a bike route from Lynchburg to Roanoke, and it's using Google Cycling Directions. And we recently had a touring cyclist come to our home, and he came from Lynchburg, and he just used Google Cycling. And it basically put him on 221 and then 460. And it was a horrible experience. Um, 460 is a terrible road to ride on. There are sections where there's no shoulder at all. And cars are traveling 70 miles an hour plus as they're overtaking you. I mean, he literally had to walk alongside his bike on the side of the road just to feel safe. So um, here's Strava's route that it creates from Lynchburg to Roanoke. And you can see it's a much more circuitous route. Um, but let me take a step back and show you how uh, Strava builds a route like this and why you want to use it. So the first step is to click on global heat map. And this, it kind of looks like a bunch of veins running through the map now. The darker a line is, um, and the thicker a line is, the more frequently it's used, that road is used by cyclists. So this is the popularity of all of these roads for cyclists. And you can see 221, 460, like it's almost completely white. Like nobody's going to ride their bike on that mess of a road. So um, what it does is like if you just put in Lynchburg and then Roanoke and you leave, use popularity, this has to be, um, this slide bar has to be marked. And when it creates a route for you, it's going to follow all of these frequently used cycling roads. Um, which is great because the locals are using these roads because they're great for cycling on and motorists are used to seeing bikers on these roads. So they're, they're expecting you to be there and they're probably going to overtake you, um, sensibly compared to on these other roads where they're not expecting you to be there and really they don't even want you there. So anyhow, use Strava route builder, use popularity. And the global heat map allows Strava to basically create fantastic routes for you that are safer. And you can have all kinds of adventures off of the routes that Strava creates for you. But it's a great starting point. Much, much better than Google Cycling Directions. Enjoy!